one year anniversary video. Yeah. We have been vlogging and posting videos on YouTube for one whole year, guys. I am so, 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 so excited. Frizzle. Man of many words is also excited. Um, so we just wanted to make a video to thank you guys for supporting us. We're kind of satin chairs to do that. No, we could not have satin chairs to do that. We needed to sit in our spare bedroom and sit on the floor and have some quality time with you guys. So yeah, it's been a year. It's been a lot. Um, the main Mondays have been going pretty good and thank you guys for watching those. I uh, still struggle to think of things to film, but we're coming up with them kind of as the weeks roll on and hopefully we just continue to make more of them because um, I like doing it. But we're here for a reason. Yes, we are here for a reason. Why are we here? We are here because of our anniversary, of one year of being on YouTube. Um, we upgraded ourselves to a Sony CX6000. So we are going to do an unboxing for you guys to see what we got. Oh, okay. This is, um, normally when I vlog, as you guys know if you watch me, um, I vlog with my cell phone. I have an iPhone 6. And I just vlog with that, and I need to get outside of my comfort zone because that's the only way you're gonna grow. And I need to start vlogging with an actual camera. Um, David vlogs mostly with. I do with the phone, but mostly I've been doing everything with the GoPro. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna have a camera now. Yeah, so now we have um, a very, very nice camera, which will be nice for these sit down talks that we're having because we're vlogging or we're videoing on David's. Them. So we'll have much better quality to come soon. So we want to do this unboxing of this Sony CX6000 that we got from Best Buy from the coolest guy ever. Ricardo. Ricardo at Best Buy. If you guys want to buy something. Did I get the name right? You did. Terrible names. Yeah. He's good. He also has a YouTube channel that I will link down below. Um, he does some fishing videos around town so you'll have to check him out. So definitely look down below. I mean, watch my video, but then go watch it. Yeah, his. watch his and then go watch it. So we are going to do an unboxing of this Sony CX6000. Um, they have several different. They have a 5000, a 5100, and, then and a 6000. Um, and we've been looking at this camera, gosh, since we started vlogging. Yeah. Well, originally, full transparency here, she didn't want the 6000. She wanted the 5100. We'll get into the features of why. Um, but they no longer carried the 5100 and just kind of going through the different options that this actually has we ended up actually wanting to go with this so um but yeah yes and it, it it's just different so if you're interested in the camera we'll actually explain it to you now um so here's the unboxing in the front they've got some books some books you know those instructions that uh I'll that be, i never read yeah i'll be reading later yeah right um and then We've got, what do we have? Let's get all the other stuff out first. We have a cord and a neck strap. Um, I guess you could call that for, like for the viewfinder. That's what it looks like to me. This is our camera, guys. That's it. <laughs> um, this is what we charge it with. Oh, charging. Which is nice, um, a rechargeable battery. And I mean, not that cameras battery. don't come out with rechargeable batteries, but. Um, it's nice to have those. A nice battery. Yes, a battery to go with. It's not you. double A's, so we're going we're yeah. going in the right direction. Absolutely. I'm gonna put this box down to the side. <laughs> Sorry for anyone who just cringed at me picking it up by the lens. <laughs> I don't know the uh, the do's and don'ts. Yes, and this is a mirrorless DSLR camera. Um, so you know the big Sony. Um, or Nikon or Canon cameras. Um, this is a mirrorless one, so it's smaller, um, but it has the same capability as a mirror yeah. DSLR. So um, it's just more compact, which is nicer for vlogging because we'll be able to, you know, vlog and vlog you guys and not have this giant camera. Um, one of the selling points for this camera versus the 5000 and the 5100 is it has. Um, a hot shoe port. Yeah, a hot shoe port for um, a mic. You can do uh, mic or a flash, or there's a few different things that we can put on there. Yeah, so that was one of the selling points for this camera, so that if we are doing more sit-down 
videos will be able to have better audio for you guys. Um, so obviously. So this is it. Now, one of the things that I was talking about is the screen on the 5100 and the 5000 actually, I don't know if it rotates up or rotates out to the it side. It rotates up. And so it rotates up. Now this one comes out and you can, so you can like kind of view what you're looking at, um, but it doesn't rotate all the way up. So you're not gonna be able to see it when you're actually vlogging, which is not necessarily a big thing for me because, you know, realistically you should be able to hold the camera right here and just kind of be in frame one way or the other. Yeah, and that was one of the downsides to this camera for me, um, in all honesty. I wanted a camera that had a flip up screen so that I could make sure that I'm getting what I need in the frame at all times. But there's a downside to having those up flipped um, screens is that you look at yourself instead of looking at the camera. So I'm just going to trust this new camera that I'm going to be in the middle of the screen. And honestly, it has such a wide frame that, I mean, I could, I could have it here and be still be in the you know, frame. So um, I'm real bad about that looking at the, uh, the, the positioning of the screen. That's why I usually have my glasses on. Trick I learned from Mr. Casey Neistat. <laughs> That's why he has his glasses. If you're not, if you were, if you weren't sure of that, but it's so he can look at his screen and make sure that he's centered, or if he like, uh, if he, if he's vlogging and saying, oh, well, this right here, instead of trying to guess where he's pointing, he can look at the screen and make sure he's pointing in the right direction. Yeah. Um, but without that screen, it really takes away you from actually being able to look at yourself. So you should be looking at the lens no matter what. Right. Um, and that's. I kind of like that, so. So that was one of the differences, the biggest differences between the three cameras. Um, so now, just the camera. We ended up going with the six or CX6000, um, which is a wonderful quality camera. We've only heard wonderful things about it. Um, good raves, not only about videography, but photography alone. This is a wonderful camera to, you know, take pictures of. Um, David and I both like photography. Um, David's dabbled with several DSLRs and we have a DSLR um, but we don't oh. it's an older DSLR and we've kind of done snapshots it does really good close-up pictures um, of the dogs um, but we don't really use it too much it collects dust with all of the other cameras we have to collect dust so this is wonderful um, just for future you know as we're using taking pictures and stuff like that so we're excited about that but this is the camera it is I don't know the staff of the camera um, right off of the bat, but it looks like what it comes with, um, it's 24.3 megapixels. Um, it does have Wi-Fi connection, so I can Wi-Fi my information from here to my phone or to my computer, um, as long as you have 11 frames per second, which is higher than, um, the DSLR that Sony makes, which is seven frames a second. Yeah, so, and the DSLR that Sony makes is much more extensive than this. Yeah, I think the body alone is well over a thousand. Yeah, so we definitely go with this. They also had a package deal um, that was a um, another lens and the camera and the lens that it comes with, but we didn't go with that because we weren't really doing real close shots or we weren't buying it for photography. Um, that was not our intention. And this is HD. Full 1080 Full 1080, HD. so, um, we're super, super, super excited. I can't um, remember the uh, the name of the company that Sony purchased, um, but there are older lenses as long as it has the E mount. Um, we can use like what I can't for the life of me cannot think of the name of that company. I'll have to one well, next time I find Ricardo, mm -hmm. I'll go ask him because I cannot remember the name for life. But if we find other lenses with the E mount, we should be able to swap those out with this. Right. Um, which, I, you know, unless we're going to do, you know, specialty shots, we're not in need of that right now. And that's what we wanted to get. We wanted to, want it, to get a camera that was versatile for what our needs were. Not only for us to daily vlog and have the ability to handle it and take pictures of it and, you know, be able to manipulate it. But yet still put it on a tripod and shoot a video like we're doing right now sitting down. And have the same quality and same um, audio. So that well, was better, kind of, Yeah. Well, right. Same quality on our vlogs and on our sit down videos. Um, whereas the GoPro is really good and we love using our GoPro, but the GoPro's audio is kind of iffy sometimes. It depends on what um, um, holder you have it in. 
and where it any, is. If you have any type of breeze. Yeah. Um, so bear with us as we learn to use this um, camera because it'll we'll obviously have good days and bad days um, learning what settings. I mean, gosh, the settings on this thing are amazing. And we'll probably, once we perfect everything, We'll probably do a video on, you know, what we're using, what settings we have it on, um, just so you guys know if you guys wanted a vlog or if you bought this camera, what it is. Um, an interesting fact about it is, um, you know, when you point and shoot a camera, the point and shoot button is not the button that you vlog with. Record. Um, record with. So back here on the back, um, there's a little red button here. And this is the button that you push when you video. want it to video. Which is interesting. I didn't know that, and um, I found it. He found it. So, um, as we are learning, we will update you as it is. Um, we are going to take these little things off. It comes with these little holders to hang the camera from this lanyard, and we're going to take those off because they kind of like I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it kind of creates like a shaking noise. Um, yeah, it's bad. It's like just. Yeah, so we're going to be taking those off and David's going to make a, uh, a wrist thing with paracord. You guys know how much he likes paracord, so look for that video too. Maybe he's going to make one for you, a wristband for your thing. Paracord and PVC is this guy's two best friends. So I haven't used PVC in forever. I know. Um, all right. There goes your outdoor shower. Right. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I don't want to draw on, on our video. Um, but look forward to seeing much better quality videos and I can't wait um, I can't wait to see where this channel goes and yay one year of vlogging Woo -woo! That was kind of terrible <laughs> This one oh. Yeah, that's oh, a good one hurt my ears Okay guys, so for those of you that aren't subscribed to our channel make sure you hit the subscribe button below It's free. It's free there's no subscription fee associated with that. Um, it just allows YouTube to notify you when our next videos come out. To those of you that are subscribed to us, thank you. And make sure you share them with your friends, post it on Facebook, put it on Twitter, put it on Instagram, do whatever you want to do, but share our videos so we get more subscribers. And yeah. Like it? Yeah, you can give us a big thumbs up if you want. But thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you for watching and we will see you on our next video. Yeah. Bye. Bye.